All right, so let's get to your cosmic energy forecast for the week of <clears throat> February 25th through March 2nd. But before we do that, <clears throat> let's talk about this last week. <clears throat> like these old patterns, man, they almost seem to be like a plague, don't they? <laughs> We see these old patterns. I mean, you can literally see your old patterns and you try to take a step forward um, into a new action and it seems like to fall flat or at least that's kind of the way that I've been seeing it. And we try it once and then it works and then we default immediately right back into that old pattern. It's frustrating, isn't it? And it's disheartening. <sighs> But the week ahead seems to have some freedom kind of energy, and so hopefully new action steps. Um, we'll be gaining some ground this week. So let's get started on Tuesday. Today, February 25th. Woo, ideas are everywhere. <clears throat> new action steps, like they're all over in the potential field. They're all over in the field of consciousness. Um, there's a huge abundance of ideas and new action steps. So, you know, try to grab onto some, right? Like, <clears throat> try to be completely in awareness and know, like, are they matching your desires? We're all very pregnant <laughs> with ideas um, and sources to cure our ailments. Yes, I said that. <laughs> there's an abundance of cures for our ailments. But the problem seems um, to reside in the wholeness of what we desire. Now, let's stop and think about that for a second. The wholeness of what we desire. We may desire some things, but if, they're, but if there's not a complete um, picture or a complete awareness of what the desire is, then there seems to be, that seems to be what's falling flat is we might take a action step based on one avenue or one um, one puzzle piece. We're not putting all the puzzle pieces together before we actually take an action step. So, and it's creating this internal imbalance. <clears throat> um, it's leaving the old self and creating the new self, right? Like that's what we're trying to do here, but this internal balance is where we sort of like, fall short I want to say but this new <clears throat> self that we're creating is very unprecedented like we've n we're not we've never really been here in this stage of consciousness before well we've been there but we've always chosen a destructive path this time we're working through that path and it's sort of unprecedented and we don't really know how to navigate these kinds of waters like right because these ideas and these actions that come in are a little bit outside of our comfort zone and maybe the mind just is having a really hard time grasping the concepts or the ideas of this new paradigm that we're moving into. <clears throat> this creates this sense of not knowing, like, like there's this big sense of I don't have any idea what is happening to me out in the cosmic energies. And it's creating a lot of physical dizziness, a lot of physical muscle pain, a lot of physical weakness, right? The muscle strain is like kind of unrealistic. <laughs> What's happening is the transformation of the physical body, the ascension of the physical body. And <clears throat> when we have these new ideas of who we want to become, that's what's creating this internal struggle and it's showing up and physical pain and suffering because we can't quite grasp the concept. So writing your desires down on paper will help you to gain some clarity. And it also offers new perspectives for growth. So today, I really want you to sit with yourself a little bit, 10, 15 minutes, that's all it really takes, and <clears throat> write down what you really desire. If you don't have any idea, just start with, I want to feel fantastic, or I want to feel free. Like that can be a desire. What that can grow into in the future for 2020 is really what you're sort of grasping onto right now. 
it's we're we have these all all these great amazing potentials but we're not really grasping on to any of them <clears throat> we're just sort of hanging out saying yeah I don't I don't even know what I want <laughs> so do this activity like sit down and write this like write it out what you desire before tomorrow because the energy will want to deepen and widen become more vast and there first needs to be a little bit of clarity on the desire of the new you now you don't have to like know or see the entire picture of the new you you're just looking at you know steps building blocks that's really kind of where we're at right now. We're just sort of putting building blocks together, trying a couple things out. If they work, fantastic. If they don't work, well, we're just going to push them aside for right now. Okay, so you really want to sit down with yourself today and ask yourself, what do I really desire? Don't put a lot of thought into this. And for gosh sakes, do not allow yourself to move into the pain and suffering of it. Okay, just throwing ideas. Right, like that's that's creation is you're just throwing ideas. <clears throat> you're just sort of like, oh, this would be kind of fun or, oh, this would be really exciting. You know, you're just like, you're just gathering concepts and ideas right now. So Wednesday, February 26th, it's super high energy. I mean, you can already start to feel the energy of tomorrow and it might get you a little bit confused with the energies of today. But tomorrow offers super high energy, which will create amazing excitement and enthusiasm to take actions. Now, you want to take actions on the desire that you have for today, right? You want to, whatever you declare is a desire today, you want to take an action step, whether it be tiny or big, doesn't matter. You really want to be aligned with that desire. Here's why. Speaking, using words, the language is super important for tomorrow because speaking your truth is the theme of the day. So pick those words that actually communicate your truth, who you really are, what you really desire, how you can actually make that desire manifest or be created into a reality. Words will create a sensitivity on Wednesday. So really be sure that your words are accurate for what you desire or you will be emotional. It's just how the world is working tomorrow, how the energies are working. It's either you're going to be, you're really going to use your words and be truthful or you're going to use your words and fall down some crazy emotional hole. <laughs> so try not to make big decisions tomorrow on Wednesday. Don't make any big decisions on Wednesday. Rather use the energy to create view, um, to create a view, a vision, a picture, um, you know, reeling in those concepts, trying to get them a little bit more clarified um, because you will want to use the energy to move deeper into the depths of the view, into the depths of the language that you're using, right? <clears throat> because the emotions are right at the verge <laughs> of taking a dive on Wednesday, which is why you're being super honest, <clears throat> which is why you're being super honest with your words, because that's, like you really like you really want to pay attention to where the emotions are residing and where they're going to like pull you into some sort of deep valley. <laughs> All right, so Wednesday is a day of growth because if you can be really truthful with yourself and you can express your desires with the language that you're using, it's a huge day for growth. And if you can do that, this day will be very important to you in 29 to 30 days. In about one month, this, the way that you're using language and how you're being truthful with yourself and how you're being able to express yourself and your truth 
in 30 days, 29 to 30 days, it sets in motion your action steps of creating the new you. The vastness of the new you, not just the concept or the idea, but you're really going to be able to pull yourself into the vastness of those concepts and ideas that you're just that are just bombarding you with right now. All right, so it's a huge day for growth tomorrow, but you have to use your language. All right, Thursday, February 27th, it's a day of creation. Finally, a great day for movement, literally. The cosmic energies are just all about movement on Thursday. Keep in mind, you wanna be moving on the things that you have been creating in your life. Now, if those things are not working out, no problem, ditch them, and, but be sure that you're creating. So when we have desires and concepts, like we don't just get one, right? There's a, there's a platitude, like there's a, there's a lots of ins and outs of a desire or an idea or a concept or something that you want to create in your life. Like there's lots of different levels to it. I want you to write down all the levels because if the, if there's one level of it that's not working, you can put that aside and move into the other levels, right? Just because you have an idea and a concept and part of it isn't working, we have a tendency as human beings to sort of ditch the whole thing. But maybe that's not the importance of that whole concept or idea. Maybe the importance of the concept or idea is to catapult you into it, but then change it when you're in it. I hope that that makes sense. So on Thursday, take steps to make that actually happen. But do not allow your energy um, of your desires to overwhelm you. There is a potential for huge overwhelm on Thursday, which as we know, overwhelm just basically shuts us down. So don't slide into that whole uh, side of the cosmic energies on Thursday. Instead, you know, like, be very clear about your desire, your words, your truth, like how it's all going to manifest and be created. So try to stay in your action steps in the AM on Thursday, like literally take some action on Thursday morning. Because in the afternoon, that energy changes and you'll want to move the body. Seriously, there's going to be so much high energy and it's gonna it's gonna reside right in your nervous system and you're gonna feel it so exercise in the afternoon maybe you walk along the shoreline do some yoga with some water sounds somehow incorporate water into your movements okay that's very important because water will show you how to overcome any obstructions to your desires or any obstructions to your action steps. Usually there's obstructions that come into the action, not just the creation of the desire. Um, if, you're moving, if you're moving the body in the afternoon, you should be able to stay out of the overwhelm, okay? If you're not moving the body in the afternoon, it's almost guaranteed you're gonna fall into the overwhelm and then confusion will come in and the ego will take over and you know, you know how that goes. <laughs> All right, Friday, February 28th, take a break, honestly. Take a break from your actions um, that you took on Friday that are going to create your future. When we take a break and when there's energy that provides for, the, for us not to really get uh, overcompensate for the, you know, like, when we want to create something, we focus, 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 focus. Sometimes you can over-focus. That pulls you into the overwhelm. On Friday, it's like, yeah, okay, you did all the work yesterday on Thursday. Now just let it be. Because when you send the purchase order to the universe, the universe has to arrange for everything to happen for the manifestation of it. All right? So Friday is a great day to just bask in what you have accomplished. Like be super grateful on Friday and that will also let the universe know that you're 
completely serious about this desire and the action that you need to take for that to happen. So be gentle with yourself, right? Be gentle with your actions today on, fr on Friday and use your power to create truth with your words. Like that's a theme for the entire week. Be super truthful with who you are, especially to yourself. <laughs> stay focused on um, your words. Stay focused on your your action steps. Stay focused on you know being grateful. Stay focused on being kind to yourself, and the day will simply just flow. If you didn't use the energy earlier this week by using your words, being super honest, then life will seem to just get more confusing on Friday. And it will be hard to break those old patterns and they will show themselves on Friday. If, you're, if you haven't done the work, here's the deal. If you haven't done the work, <clears throat> those old patterns will show themselves. And they will most likely appear in relationships because that's what we hold close to our heart our relationships and that's generally where things where our old patterns show up because in those relationships that we have with people we use them as reflectors mirrors right uh, the love people that we love are the first ones to tell us what's wrong with us and that's how your relationships get set up so those old patterns will be reflected in the relationships. So don't let that, don't let them be destructive. Use your words to accurately describe your truth on Friday, right? But also be in great gratitude. If you're in gratitude and you're just like, yeah, I'm just going to let the universe provide what I need, life will just flow. If you haven't done the work throughout the week, life is going to be a little bit more difficult on Friday. All right, moving into Saturday, February 29th. <clears throat> Leap day. <laughs> it's an extra day added to our calendar um, so that the, to actually make the solar year match with our calendar year. So in other words, it's a day of synchronicity <laughs> because the calendar now syncs up with the Earth's orbit, which we've sort of been getting out of control in the last four years. But this year, we get to sync up with the Earth orbit. This, use this energy, right, of synchronizing. Where do you feel out of balance in your life? Use the energy on Saturday to synchronize yourself. Ask those deep soul questions of how do I sync? How do I match up with my wants, dreams, and desires? How do I know that that's going to be accurate? How do I find clarity, right? Like, how do I just be or move into balance? And use the intention to synchronize yourself with your wants, dreams, and desires, the Earth's atmospheres, the cycles that we have here that we have to deal with. Like, this is why... You know, part of the reason why we do these cosmic energy forecasts is to allow you to know, like, what the cycles are and how to sync with them instead of being out of a, out of alignment with everything all the time. So if this week has not gone as planned, this is a clue as to what's out of sync, right? And you're looking to pull it back into balance. You're the only one that can do this. You're the only one that can pull yourself back into balance. So, just be, if you haven't done the work this week, doesn't mean that, it's a, that this week is a wash, all right? What you wanna do is go back through the week, go back through the information, do the work, and bring yourself into a whole state on Saturday, right? Like you wanna be in that state of wholeness. That helps you to move forward because on Sunday, March 1st, you're just gonna lay low. Honestly, there is some type of crystalline energy line that's marking its way through the cosmic field, through the field of potentials, like through everything. It's like a, not really, like I can't 
it's almost like a ooh, it's almost like a solar flash, but it's not a solar flash. It's more of a um, confidence kind of a flash. It's like it's bringing this energy of supreme confidence in in your truth and who you know. That's probably the importance of why why the words are such an important thing because you really want to be in a state of wholeness, being in um, using your words to accurately describe your truth in the moment because this confidence will come in, this, this flash of confidence, I want to say, just surrender. That's the whole point of laying low on Sunday is just to surrender to yourself and maybe focus on confidence, right? Like maybe do a journal writing or maybe explore that a little bit on Sunday. Where in your life are you super confident? And where in your life are you not quite very confident, right? Like that might be in your awareness, but just surrender to this flash of energy confidence. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. Um, surrender into the power of what it might mean to be, to feel, to be, to express like this supreme confidence. I'm not talking about ego, egoic confidence. I'm talking about this pure confidence of your essence, of you knowing who exactly who you are. Can you feel the power of that? Like there's extreme power on Sunday with this energy that's flashing into our system. So you will need to understand your level of confidence for the week ahead because there's big action steps that, that are coming in the week ahead. All right. Monday, March 2nd, it's a sensual kind of a day. If you're not feeling very confident in your sensuality, that might be something to explore on Sunday, right? So you're getting ready. So on Monday, you're getting ready or bringing into your awareness your deep desire of sensuality. So take note on what brings you deep pleasure, sensual kind of pleasure. Now, sensuality means that you feel gratitude for your senses. Sense of touch, sense of smell, the sense of hearing, the sense of seeing, the sense of tasting. All of your senses, your sense of intuition. So maybe you spend a little time, extra time on Monday with your food. And you allow the, the taste to make sensual like to make you feel sensual about the choices that you're making about your food or maybe you use oils that day that elicit or arouse like some other sense right like sexuality or freedom of <clears throat> expression or whatever it might be or maybe you use coconut oil and you use it as a lotion today and you just allow the skin to feel how pleasant it is. Like we take advantage of our skin. Like we don't pay enough attention to our skin. And it's our number one defense system. So maybe on Monday we just pay a little bit more attention to the sensualness of touch. Whatever you choose to do on Monday, be aware of your senses. Because that again will come into play for the next for the coming week so i hope that this helps i hope that this uh you know helps you navigate the world <sighs> this is angela blaha signing off from the cosmos have an amazing amazing week <laughs>